Okay, the next video will get roofing contractors mad at me. But it's not for them. It's for you. If you are that person that cannot afford a roofing contractor, then you have to watch this video. This will show you how you can do a cover over an existing old roof yourself. And it's very simple. It's a peel and stick system. I'm, I'm not doing it the conventional method. I'm not doing it like the manufacturers uh, uh, tell you how to do it. I use only a cap sheet over an existing old roof. And if you watch this, you'll see I did this four to five years ago. And the, the, the owners of that particular roof are still very happy. And it's going to last. I've done several roofs like this in, in the past, and it lasts. If you watch this, you can do it yourself and save yourself a lot of money and get some roofing contractors mad at me. Happy watching. And the flashing. So, flashing yeah, I explained about the flashing. That's it's important. pretty good the on the top edge. end of the roof. The rest of it, but the drippage on the side is very bad. So, I removed that drippage, and you can see how loose the roof is or were. Yeah. And I removed any excess material and lumps and any tar or anything just to get it nice and smooth. And once I've removed that, I wanted to show you is how the proper way is to install this peel and stick roofing. So when you have a roof, let's say this is your roof surface like this, you can see here. This is your roof, it can be an existing roof, it can be the plywood, doesn't matter. Before you can do anything, uh, you need a base. This is a peel and stick base, you can see this plastic in the back. And you position your peel and stick, you roll out the roll with your uh, peel and stick base, which is uh, very thin, but a very good material. And you peel out the plastic from underneath it, but as you have positioned it, you peel out the plastic from underneath it here, like this. See, like I'm doing here. After you've positioned the, the peel and stick, okay? Now this one moved a little bit, let me get it in position. Now you can see how it sticks on my table here, look. It sticks. If, if it gets hot, you will never be able to get this off. This is unbelievably good. In the video, I don't see where I show you how to cut the drippage. And I just want to show you quickly how to do that. This is a, a tip. Never go to Home Depot or Lowe's to buy your drippage. Those are so flimsy and thin you got to get yourself commercial drippage from a roofing supply place, either ABC Roofing Supply or Beacon or a local roofing supply place might have it. I think this is 32 gauge aluminum drippage and it's 3 inch by 3 inch. <clears throat> That's what I suggest. Look at this. 3 inches. See there? I think it's upside down, but 3 inches by 3 inches, okay? And then you get yourself a commercial drippage, bronze, brown, or white. And then you, you, before you install it, you have to uh, either uh, remove the plastic. See this thin layer of plastic on there? That's to protect the, uh, the drippage from scratches. You can see how nice and clean it is there, okay? So I'm not gonna remove it. When you come around this corner, and this is the bottom of the roof, and you want to go around this corner, you need to cut a V here. Let me show you. So you cut a V like this, right there, and another one, just a small V, not, 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 too, too, not too much, right to the edge there, all right. And then right across, right straight down there, you need to cut another on the kick out there's a little kick out to the bottom here you got to cut that as well slightly and once you've got it cut you bend it over like that you see that beautiful now there's the still plastic left here i didn't take off but that's how you cut your metal edging just like that and that then you place over your roof over your base all right that's how you cut the metal now once you got your peel and stick rolled out, then 
you put your metal drippage over that, like that. As I explained to you before, you put your tar in between the seam here, so it doesn't leak in there, and you nail this with three inch nails into your roof. Once you got that done, then you put your cap sheet over. Now let's say this is a roll of cap sheet, you position it, and you peel off the plastic from underneath it like that, okay? Uh, like that, okay? And then, this will stick to the metal and it will stick to the base sheet. But, what I do is, I, I like to use Karnik 81, where I seal this. And this is where you can see in the video where I do the Karnik 81. I'm, I'm gonna leave that for the video. But this is a part that you don't see in a video. And then, you come with your next roll, you come with your next roll, and you roll it out on top of that seam. You match it up with that seam there. You see that seam? And you roll it out again over that seam and you peel the plastic from underneath it and, and you're done. So that's a peel and stick uh, 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 roof. It works unbelievable and anybody can do it. Watch the video, watch the rest of the video to see what I do. Ooh, strong man. But uh, bringing a roll up is 110 man, pounds. You might want to consider to cut the, the lengths, shorter lengths on the on the ground, and then bring it up right, so you so don't need to carry the entire roll. We're putting a. I've rolled out a few lay. Uh, 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 and uh, I've rolled out already a few uh, lengths of this metal, material. Metal, but here I'm showing you how I do it. I uh, put the position it with that black line, you can see there's a black line there, I position Anybody it with that and I roll it out all the way. Once I get to the edge, I cut the material slightly longer than what I need, about an inch or two. You, you can see that we're cutting it longer because it's hard to cut it at the right length, so you cut it an inch or two longer and then you position the material properly and then you remove the plastic from underneath it. You leave it flat like that and you pull the plastic out from underneath it, like I do here. You can see I get the plastic out and then the piece broke off. That happens all the time. But you can remove the plastic backing and once you remove that, it's going to stick to that surface underneath it. If you have a base which would be better, then it will stick to the base and also to the overlapping seam. Now I'll show you it doesn't stick too well right now because it hasn't heated, uh, the sun hasn't had a chance to heat it up. So to secure it better, I use the Karnik 81. Karnik 81 trowel grade, very important. Home Depot only sells brush grade. So I take the, the Karnik and I put a thick bead of Karnak 81 over the drippage, but don't go all the way to the edge. Leave like a quarter of an inch so you don't make a big mess squeezing it out when you put, it, put the material down. And then now you squeeze it down, push it down, and squeeze the material so all the air is pushed out, okay? So I got that edge done. So I go now to the, neck, to the other side, and I do the same thing, but before before I can put the Karnak down, I have to cut the excess material off, like I showed you where I left that little piece longer. And this is what makes it easy because you use the edging of the drip edge to cut it straight. I did not just cut it randomly, I used the edging. And I used the Karnak 81 again on this edge, and I make sure that bonds properly to the metal and I squeeze out all the air again, like I did on the other side. Very, very, very nice. And this is how you attach the, the membrane to the metal. So yeah, I'm at the top end of the roof, and I'm gonna do the same thing. We had some hard, uh, a little bit uh, trouble to getting underneath the leader pipe. So once I got it under the leader pipe, then I positioned the material and I cut it to the right width. 
because I don't want to use the entire width so I cut it and I'm, I was using that black line of the previous um, material to make sure I get the straight line I didn't I didn't do a chalk line you can do a chalk line which is a better way to do it and then you pull out the plastic again see how easy this is it's simple anybody can do it I use the Karnak 81 again at the top end to seal that that's the most important part now you want to seal that with uh, with conic by just sticking it with the adhesive it's going to leak it will never never seal so getting it underneath that uh, leader again was trouble and once you got it in there you squeeze it down and also you can use a trowel to flatten it out make it nice and smooth. not only your hand but use a clean trowel to flatten out the the, the membrane and the, and the air underneath the, the membrane like I do there okay? okay that trowel was dirty once I did now this is not ne necessary but I like to do it I heat up the membrane on the overlapping seams especially at the very top to to prevent water from coming in between the two laps I do that with all the overlapping seams um, I just like to do that it's better it's secure and I don't heat it up like I do torch down. I heat it up just enough so it will really stick. It's very soft, this material, so you cannot heat it up too much. And that's it. And that's what it looks like. So the rest will lie flat eventually, but you can see it conforms to the entire roof. It looks clean, very uh, clean roof. Anybody, anybody can do this. It's is simple and easy to do I know other people will get mad at me but you can save yourself a lot of money by doing it yourself thumbs up please and I'll see you on the other video